Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I make my own calcium and potassium organic fertilizer for my tomato and pepper plants. And I will also explain in few words why calcium and potassium are important for your plants. I make the fertilizer obviously from eggshells and from banana peels. And what I do is after I eat my eggs, I will wash the eggshells very well from the protein the egg protein from them and let them sit out in the sun for a few hours until they dry out. And with the banana peels, after I eat the banana, I'll just leave the banana peels outside until they get all crunchy. And uh, so here is how I do it. So I take my eggshells and I crush them. Then I'll take my banana peels and I'll crunch them down to smaller pieces so I can put them in my Vitamix. They don't have to be too fine because the Vitamix will turn them into dust. And the reason I want to turn them into dust, both the eggshells and the banana peels, is because it's going to be easier for the plant's root to absorb them from the soil. Alright, next I'm going to put everything in my Vitamix. I'm sorry, I'm about to deprive you from the pleasure of listening to my Vitamix, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to say a few words why potassium and calcium are important for your tomato and pepper plants. The three major reasons you should always make sure that your plants are not potassium deficient are because potassium increases your plant's ability to be more resistant to pests, it helps them grow a healthier root system, and also it prevents the uneven ripening of the fruit. The main reason you should always make sure that your pepper and tomato plants are never calcium deficient is because calcium deficiency causes blossom and rot, which is the browning of the bottom of your fruit. However, sometimes you may have enough calcium in your soil, but your plant's root system is unable to absorb it. That's why it's a good idea a couple of times a month to dissolve one tablespoon of Epsom salt in one gallon of water and water your plants because Epsom salt improves your plant's ability to absorb calcium. Now I have my eggshells and banana peels grounded into dust and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in a paper towel and then put it in a glass jar and just use one tablespoon whenever I'm transplanting my plants. I will do this inside because it's a very fine dust. I'm outside and it's a bit windy so I don't want the dust all over my camera. And another quick banana peel tip guys is uh, when my uh, seeds are still little seedlings what I do is I save my banana peels but some of them I put in a ziploc inside the freezer and uh, whenever I water my seedlings what I do since potassium uh, improves root development um, I save some banana peels in the freezer and then whenever I need to water my seedlings I would take banana peels out put them in a pitcher of water, let it sit for 24 hours, and then I water my seedlings with this, which this is what I call my banana water. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, give it the thumbs up, and if this is your first time on my channel, click subscribe for more cool tips about gardening, eating, cooking, and weight loss. Thank you guys, I will see you next time. Bye!